So what I'm going to show you today is the uh, new transforms that Boston Link created uh, utilizing Cuckoo uh, Sandbox. So what I'm going to start off with showing is off an assumption. We've already performed a uh, site investigation where one of our alerts went off within NetWitness uh, stating that there may possibly be a exploit pack uh, downloaded. So we ran, went ahead and uh, downloaded the file and put it into our malware directory that we um, created. As you see here, I have it called malware samples. And if we take a look in that directory, we're gonna see an executable file that we put there. Um, we pulled this out of the packets uh, and we're gonna do a little investigation utilizing Cuckoo. And how we're going to do that, though, is we're going to do it within the Mal, uh, Maltigo transforms that Boston Link created. And as you can see here, we have all these different uh, Cuckoo transforms. And we're going to do one by just submitting it right in here. So there's the file. It was just in our directory. And we're going to go ahead and submit the file for analysis. In this file, um, because this is the first time running, uh, the analysis is going to take some time going through. Uh, again, you can uh, disable the show debug, uh, which I have a habit of forgetting. And we'll wait for the analysis to run. In the background, uh, every 20 seconds, the transforms are checking against the Cuckoo API uh, to see where it stands with the analysis. So now you're going to see we have task ID of uh, number 41 here. So we could either, you know, continue going through our visualization here, or if you want to go directly to Cuckoo, you can. But we're going to go from here. We're going to run some more transforms, and here's all the different transforms that we can run to see exactly what is associated uh, with this particular file. So let's start off with uh, virus total results. So if there is anything, uh, virus total has anything there, it should show up. Now we're going to see that there's not many out of all the virus total that's out there. We have uh, six that are picking up this particular uh, variant. So if we come back over here, let's see what else it does here. Um, we can check the R signatures. see that it's got some shell code pattern matching. It drop any files. As you can see, this uh, particular one's pretty good with dropping the files. the hashes. So as you can see, we got a good visualization of what this particular file did to the host machine uh, that it was downloaded to. Um, and we can continue just to go and find uh, the host that it uh, tried calling out to. Here are some of the hosts that I tried calling out to, as we can see. And then obviously from here, if you wanted to continue mapping out, we could then go back into the transform, uh, witness transforms or the Palo Alto transforms to see what else was going on. Um, but as you can see, this is a pretty cool use of how we're integrating Cuckoo into our uh, 
Maltigo uh, tool set.